Hi, we're Joel and Leah. And today's video is British versus Canadian versus American English words. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So lots of our followers are American, mm -hmm. and, but we also get messages from a few Canadians that are like, please, can you include us? <laughs> so that's kind of where the idea for this video came from. Yeah. So we're going to try to keep doing this. We want to branch out and include Canada more and Australia. And we want to include everyone. Um, <laughs> it's, like when, it's like when someone's kid is left out. Yeah. You're like, we just want to include everyone. We just everyone. want to include everyone. everyone. <laughs> we're bombarded with American culture here in the UK, so that's why we know sort of more about it. Whereas these other places, we don't really hear about Canada. We no don't one really... chats about Canada. Yeah, which is a travesty. Isn't it? Like... We're really sorry. Yeah, we're sorry. So we're going to talk about Canada today. We're going to celebrate Canada. Yeah. If Canada Woo! was a child, we'd be like, this is yeah. our kid. <laughs> <laughs> right, what's the first word? So the first word is the word toilet. Oh, do you not know hate that word? Can I just say, as an aside, I remember once I was, uh, I was with uh, someone's very posh mum and I said, where's the toilet? And she was like... Don't you ever call it a toilet ever again. It's a loo. It's a loo. And I've never said the word toilet since. Yeah. And that was in 2011. Yeah. Anyway, toilet. So Brits will say <laughs> toilet or loo. Yeah. Um, but that's what we tend to say. Yes. When we want to go to, to the loo. The loo. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the word for the loo. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you've got British one, toilet or loo. Yeah. And then American, you've got... Bathroom or restroom. Bathroom or restroom. And yeah. then Canadians call it... Wash a washroom. Room. Like I having a wash really, in there. Yeah. Which is, again, even more weird, I think, than bathroom. Or than when Americans room. say bathroom or restroom. Because it's like... If you're going for a wee, you're not washing. I mean, you wash your hands. Yeah, you wash Maybe your hands after the oh, washroom. Wash room. Oh, it's like I'm just washing my hands. Yeah. And when you pee in the loo and you flush it, it washes it away. So maybe it does make sense. Yeah. Right, so there are a couple of words that uh, Americans don't have a different thing. They either side with Canada or they side with the UK. Okay. On this one, they side with Canada. We call that stripy thing to cross a road. We call that a zebra, zebra crossing. crossing. And a zebra. Americans and Canadians call it a crosswalk. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, it's a crosswalk. It's a crosswalk. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, zebra, I'm, all, I'm all for the zebra yeah. crossing. And I heard a, a Canadian talk about this, and Americans will probably feel the same. They're like, yeah. not only is zebra crossing weird because you think of the animal and it's not what we call it, but you call it zebra, not zebra. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> zebra, they're like, what on yeah. earth are you on what about? What is a zebra? Zebra crossing. <laughs> but I, I really like zebra. I, I love a good zebra crossing. If someone says zebra to me, it, it just triggers me. I don't know oh, why. Oh, you get triggered. Yeah. Oh, Joel, zebra. A zebra. Do they say mm. the letter... Z in the alphabet, Z. A Z. I think that could be why. X, Y, Z. Yeah. They say X, Y, Z, and we say X, Y, Z. I love how I had to do the whole alphabet yeah. to get that. Yeah. I forgot the alphabet as well. I was uh, like, they're going to know. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's move on to the next yeah. one. The next one is uh, clothing, or do we call it it's footwear? Footwear, yeah. So, you in the UK, we would call the shoes that you work out in trainers mm -hmm. so Joel loves trainers Joel, Love trainers Joel has got more trainers than anyone I know mm -hmm. um, and as he gets more successful <laughs> it's getting he just worse. keeps buying trainers <laughs> It's getting ridiculous. I've said to my family all the way along, I was like, I think that's going to be my thing. My thing is trainers. Yeah, you love you love. I love trainers. trainers. If you could maybe wear, this is too extreme, but if you one day could wear different trainers every day, would you? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. But then what happens? Do you give them away after? Like, you yeah, warm them, them and then you're like, oh, they're a bit dirty, they go to charity. But then the thing is, I get really attached to things, so I will wear them and wear them and wear them and wear them and wear them. So Okay. I would like lots of trainers, yeah. but I wouldn't just dispose of them after using them once because I, if I like them, then I like them and I want to wear them. And you're attached. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. You'll be like, oh, I miss Monday. Yeah, Monday's I miss Monday trainers. trainers. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> this is what you get with John and Leah videos, by the way. Like You get yeah. a bit of informative stuff, then you get tangents. So yeah. if that's what you're into, then subscribe. Yeah. If that's not what you're into, then... Yeah. Oh, there'll be Sorry. some triggered people that aren't subscribed. They'll be like, you do waffle too much. I'm like... That's what this channel's about. That's what it's about. It's all about waffle. Someone called us, we should be called being stupid. I know. <laughs> it was amazing. I screenshotted it. I shared it on our Instagram page. I said, this is amazing. Yeah. Being stupid. Joel and Leah. We should rebrand this. We that. should. Being stupid. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so we've, we've touched on it. We say trainers. Americans yes. say sneakers. So yes. what do Canadians say? Runners. 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 Yeah. So it's That sounds runners. Aussie to me. 
Oh, 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 I love my new runners. My new runners. Yeah, we were just in the park last week and I was just like looking at everyone else's <laughs> runners and I was getting... I don't know why. I wonder if Australians do say runners. If you're Australian, let us know in the comments what you say. Do you say trainers or do you say runners? Or I sneakers. Bet, I, I bet, bet they the don't other... say sneakers. Yeah, but just imagine Josh right now. Josh yeah. is our Australian friend. Imagine him saying, oh, I like your runners. trainers. He'd say trainers. No. I think he'd say runners. Really? I don't know. He's probably out running. Yeah, probably. Hi, yeah. Hi, Josh. We've we've got a very quick question. We're filming a video right now. You're Australian. What do you call um, the things you put on your feet? Casual no, things for exercising. For exercise. Oh, exercise. Yeah. What do they? Th okay. What are they called? Like, uh, I don't know. Joggers, runners. Runners. Sneakers. 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 Wait, what are run what are runners? What are runners? That's how Americans say it. Is it? Oh, well, that's just I ruined think... our video. Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> um, so we call them trainers. <laughs> We've heard Americans call them sneakers. And apparently oh, Canadians I... call them runners. But I think that's an Aussie thing as well. Is it? Uh, no idea. Oh. I'm a bad Australian. You're the worst Australian. Great. Thanks a lot, Josh. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Josh. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to you, our video is ruined. <laughs> okay then, bye Josh! Okay, bye! bye. Thanks Josh! Bye. I love it! Okay, I bye! I love it when you end the vocal. Okay then! <laughs> he must just be like, what just happened? <laughs> anyway, Australians, I think that's confirmation that they call them joggers or runners, but okay. joggers to us means sweatpants. Yeah, jogging bottoms. Jogging bottoms. Jogging. Oh, where are my jogging bottoms? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, moving on, because we've got so many to I get know, through. I know, so many. Okay, so the next one is what we would call a multi-storey car park. Oh, yeah, well, what do they call it? So, in American English, you might say parking garage. No. Yeah. No. Parking garage. What? When it's a multi-storey yeah, car park? Yeah, a multi-storey car park. Yeah, can't call that a, a garage. A parking garage. No, you That's can't. That's a huge garage. That's triggering. But then, get this. All right. Canadians call it a parkade. No! <laughs> <laughs> A parkade, like it's an arcade. <laughs> I'm like, what goes on here in the parkade? In the parkade. <laughs> There's people doing that. <laughs> oh my gosh, that sounds like a disco. Yeah, doesn't it? With like people doing parkour. Yeah. And people like flipping up and down. That's hilarious. So funny. Parkade. I'm going to the parkade. Where are you in the parkade? So good. I want to do my birthday in the parkade, mom. <laughs> Comment below if you're mm -hmm. loving that as much as we are. Okay, next one is a uh, dressing gown. So yeah. like, you know, like a mm -hmm. bathrobe, but you don't have to yeah. wear it after you've had a bath. You just wear it just to keep warm. So we call it a dressing gown. Americans call it bathrobes. So that's what bath they call robe. it. Bathrobe, mm. yeah. Oh, lovely bathrobe. And, and I've written this down. I don't think Leah's seen it. Um, Read what Canadians call it. Okay. You're not going to believe it. it. <laughs> Be real. It is. It's house true. Coat. They call it a house coat. House coat. A house coat. <laughs> Where's my house coat? Where's my house coat? <laughs> that's hysterical. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yeah. Where's my coat? Which one? My house coat. My house coat. My Not house my outdoor coat. coat. My house, house coat. coat. <laughs> that's so funny. So good. And this was from a genuine Canadian no. article by a Canadian that's no. like, yeah, we call them house, house coats. coats. No, that's too Baffling. much. That's amazing. So good. And over here you'll find the house coat. Yeah. That's so funny. Imagine. The house coat. Imagine. I can't decide though what I prefer. I really like dressing gown and I really like bathrobe. Bath I just really like both those words. Dressing gown. Dressing gown. gown. <laughs> or a bathrobe. <laughs> I just love it. It's so posh. Yeah, dressing gown. <laughs> so we've got two more. Okay. Uh, one of them is so we call something you put on your back, a bag you put on your back. We call that a backpack. Oh, uh, yeah, I call it backpack. Um, Americans call it rucksack. Rucksack. I never really used that. No, rucksack. but Brits would say it, though, wouldn't they? Yeah, it's not like, unheard of. No, you know, if someone says, oh, I brought my rucksack, I'd be like, cool. But we yeah. mostly would call it backpack. backpack. Yeah. Um, and then Canadians apparently call it knapsack. No, stop. Knapsack. Knapsack. Where's my knapsack? Which I think I have. A... <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a nap snack. Where's my nap snack? Where's my nap snack? Snacks. <laughs> Snacks. Um, my nap snack. I have heard knapsack before, but I just 
I wonder where it comes from. But we've got a friend who has a, uh, a channel on YouTube all about backpacking. Back- yeah. Her name's Backpacking Bananas. Yeah. And as we've read that one out now, now I was thinking maybe she should rebrand as Napsacking Bananas. <laughs> <Brand. laughs> reach different people, like Rucksacking Bananas. Rucksacking Bananas. It doesn't sound as no. good, does it? Backpacking, backpacking Bananas. Rucksacking. So she has to be like, it has to be a fruit beginning with R. Oh, yeah. Uh, r- 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 rucksacking Rhubarb. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is our friend. Rucksack Ruck in <laughs> I We need to suggest this. this to her. She's got to watch this. <laughs> Sorry, it's, if you know Christy, that's so funny. It's so good. She, she, little rhubarb. <laughs> okay. Okay. Last one. So the last one, I don't even know how to say it. Americans say the same as us, beanie. Yeah, the beanie hat you hat. wear in the winter, and you try and pronounce it. I don't even know how. Is that a Q? Yeah. Toke. Toke. Like a toke. Toke, not toke. Tok. 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 T-O-Q-U-E. So if anyone can help us with that. Why do I think that this, the camera speaks back? Yeah, what is it? What is it, guys? <laughs> Someone will be shouting at their screen and I'm like, okay, that's why YouTube needs to do voice comments. Yeah, yeah, so you can pronounce it. But how scary would that be? I know, I don't want it. But people would, wouldn't leave hate comments because they don't want it. People leave hate comments when they want to be anonymous. Oh. So it would be quite good. Yeah. You'd have to... Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, toke or toke. 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 It's just funny. Where does that come from? Maybe it's okay. a French word? Because Canadians, lots of them speak French. Yeah. I don't know. What? Yeah, it's really toke. weird. I, it does... It's, be, it's a beanie hat. I think if we were sat like with a, a Canadian and, and he or she was just like, hey, I'm just wearing my house coat and I've got my toke and, and my right. knapsack, we'd be like... <laughs> Huh? <laughs> You're like, well, now we know all of them, yeah. but five minutes ago we'd be like, what? Yeah. <laughs> but I love that there's even a difference between America and Canada when you two are basically the same country. <laughs> oh, <laughs> trigger! Yeah, but they, they're they very close. Yeah. And like, they are technically both America, because America is like the continent. Yeah. That's all the words <laughs> and all the chat, <laughs> and yeah. all the tangents. This video is probably very long. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. We post videos thrice, thrice weekly. weekly. And we will see you next time. Yeah. Uh, if you like what we're wearing, we've got yes. a, we've got an online shop where you can buy our merch. Yeah. Uh, not my vibe because you know you don't have to explain yourself if you don't want yeah. to do something. Just not my Same. vibe. Not, not my, my vibe. vibe. That's it. Sorry. That's what we're about. Yeah. So thanks for that. We will see you next time. See you Bye soon. guys. Bye. I'm loving well these on my vibe t-shirts. Me too. They're absolutely yeah. fantastic. Stick. They're great, aren't they? They're so good. I'm not sweating. You I can't know. See my... And they're actually quite thick as well. They're like comfortable and like, yeah. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it, love, love it. it. Love it, love it, love it. Can't wait to see how it washes. I know.